So um, Takeback does use um, these kind of circular call outs. Um, we're going to create one which is uh, story of the week, which happens to be this article. Now I've got some text already over here. Um, so I'm not going to bore you with um, formatting that. Just to, to point out that um, they are styled so that the word week is in Myriad Pro Black. This is uh, the pink take a break text. The text frame above them, they're all separate text frames so that I get the choice to be able to move and rotate them around, which we will do in this video. Um, this is set with a font called Bradley Hand. Uh, no link to me. Um, and um, that's set to bold. It's 19 points on 16 point of legging, uh, leading, uh, which is pretty relevant because there's only one line of text in, in these top three text frames. And then finally, the bottom text frame is Myriad Pro, condensed 19 points on uh, 16 point leading, and it's all set to uppercase. So we will use this text, but we need a circular uh, kind of call out um, uh, to um, to create, to put that onto. So I'm going to go to my tools panel and then pick up my ellipse tool. And then in terms of the uh, positioning of this, well, this needs to go onto the images layer. And I'm going to hover my cursor around about here, left click, and this needs to be 36 millimeters by 36 millimeters. Click OK, and I get my disc. And then switch to my selection tool. I'm going to change the fill color of that to take a break yellow. And then press return. I'm then going to go to the uh, stroke and change that to take a break pink. Press return. And then I'm going to increase the stroke weight to two points. But I'm not going to leave it like that. I'm going to go to the type menu. This is the style of stroke that you want. And I'm going to choose uh, Japanese dots. And then I'm just going to zoom in a little bit closer so we can see this. It puts those dots half on the inside of the circle, half on the outside. But if I go to window and then choose stroke, okay, the dedicated stroke panel with lots of options inside, um, and make that disappear. Um, I'm going to choose to make the aligned stroke to the inside of the object. That puts them on the inside like so. That matches the style that's in Take a Break. So um, if you want to increase the size of the dots, that would be the weight again. So you could increase the dots, you could decrease them in there. Or as I say, that same option for the style of the line in there is under what's called the type menu. Um, and you can change them to any one of the presets in there. So with that done, I'll click away from there. And then I need to position that. It's going to be just between these two babies' heads. And it's just creeping onto the very top of the page in there, like so. So that's all good. I, um, I can then lock my images layer and then focus on my text. So if I bring in... Probably weak is the biggest one here. So if I drag this across, all of these need kind of rotating really. So I can hover my cursor on the outside and I get the rotate symbol. I can just rotate this round a touch. If you want to do it so they all match the same angle, then you may well be better off going up to the top to the angle value. And if I just change that to say four in there, have it set to that, and then click on this text frame and change its angle also to four matches drag that across up here like so and then i can take the word story drag this over i'm going to put the word of the and again i'm going to rotate that round three four degrees counterclockwise just put this down here just in case of juggling them all around really so like this one counterclockwise four degrees drag that on here and it's just a case of positioning wherever they will fit really so if I get this on here, move this around, something like that, press the W key, and there we go. That's how you can create a circle and you can create those kind of call outs as attention seeking things on the page, um, uh, which is very much uh, take a break style.